Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to have a reference track in Ableton. So we have our track up here, and uh, we have all these channels and all these groups going to the master. And if we want to drop in a reference track, which would be this one, uh, typically I, I don't use my own music, but I don't want you know copyright strikes to happen. We have uh, this guy, right? Uh, so what you know what you'd want to do is uh, kind of get uh, the you know your loudness and your levels and your EQs and all that on your master and all that. But what happens is is your reference track gets affected by whatever is on your master bus. Um, so that could be a problem. But there's a way to kind of fix that. Uh, each channel in Ableton you have. Uh, an input, you can have something to be set for input, then you have that uh, set to arm. Right now I have it off, so it's just a basic track playing. But then you have this output here. Uh, and usually, by default, everything is output to the master. So what you can do is uh, go to external out, and then you'll see one and two. One and two is your main outs. So what this is doing is this is just being output to your main outs and bypassing the master. And uh, yeah, I'll solo it and then play it. And then you will notice that it is not coming out of the uh, master. Right, so what you can do is... Uh, you know, play whatever you're working on. I, I typically have this at the top here, so I can easily go up and then solo. So you'll have like, you know, whatever you're working on here. And then you'll want to, you know, bring that up in loudness. Or whatever, you, whatever you're doing, mix it. And then you can quickly, just by hitting solo, you can uh, solo your reference track. So I got a lot of work to do, but you know, that's basically how you do it. And then you, you know, yeah. Anyway, hope you learned stuff. Uh, take care and have a good one.